Hello guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up the Dolphin uh, Nintendo Wii emulator. Well, you can also play GameCube games if you want, but yeah, it's a Wii and GameCube emulator on your PC and I'm going to show you guys how to set it up. So, first you want to go to the link in the description and you want to find stable versions, right? Click download on Dolphin 5.0. Alright, now we're going to open up Dolphin 5.0. Uh, we're going to select a language. Click I agree here. Just install all those. Yep, install. Alright, so as you can see, Dolphin has been installed. So now you want to do is go to your start menu and you're going to type in Dolphin. So here it is, and now you can open it up. Alright, so you have the emulator installed, which is the thing that you can use to play the Wii games and GameCube games on your PC. But how do you actually get the games? Well, you want to go to this link in the description, it's called vin.net. It goes to the vault, and you can get Game People Wii games. Now, this is only for entertainment purposes, and only only get these games if you own these games in real life, okay? If, if your piracy is not good, guys, okay, make sure that you actually own the games. So, I'm going to go to Wii, I'm going to get this game, because I own it. Uh, you want to click Format. And you want to make sure it's uh, either ISO or WBFS. So I'll just do ISO. Oh, they're very large apparently. Okay, I'll do WBFS then. But yeah, either one will work. Alright guys, so I had to get it from another website because it was downloaded really slow on the site for some reason. I don't know why. But yeah, just look around for the ROMs. You know, there are some viruses, so do be careful. So the safest place I would recommend is the site, but the downloads, uh, the downloads are slow, but yeah, I would recommend this. And remember, only get the games if you own them. But once it's downloaded, uh, you want to make sure you have a program called WinRAR, which lets you extract 7-zip files. So you're going to open that up. I'm extracting it to my downloads folder. Um, and then once it's done, well, while it's doing that, you can actually configure your controls here. Go to controller, configure, and then, you know, connect to, you know, controller if you want, or use your keyboard. So, say so I want to use those controls. And boom, W, C, S, and D. W, S, A, and D. Bop. And you can also go in graphics here. You can basically change all of the graphics settings of the emulator. So maybe you want games to be in 720p or 1080p or you know anything like that. It's just not responding because I have a hard drive and I need to upgrade to an SSD soon. Alright, so here we are. We click enhancements and as you can see it's set to 1080p. Now this is pretty high-end, well like mid-end PCs. So if your PC is kind of bad, maybe put it on 1.5 times native or 720p because it might not handle it that well. So I'll just put it on, I'll just keep it on 2.5, I'll put it on 2.5 times an eight. And now you just want to open up that uh, WBFS file. Right, so we're opening it up. It's black right now for some reason. Oh, here we go. And as you can see, it works completely fine. So yeah guys, I hope uh, this tutorial helped you. If it did, leave a like and subscribe, and have fun gaming, I suppose. What? Yeah. Um, if this happens, um, <laughs> you just want to go to controllers, configure, and remove the extension. There you go. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.